we love him, and nine times out of ten, we don't believe any sports news until Adrian Wojnarowski reports it. But I'm going to go ahead and call BS on this latest Woj bomb. What's up, everybody? Jackie Ray here. Feel free to follow me on all things social media at Jackie Ray TV. But first, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Now, we've all been talking about this Jordan Poole and Draymond Green situation. Some saying the fight was because Jordan wouldn't shut up about getting his max deal and then using the money to build a pool, calling it the Jordan Pool because it's the GOAT. Others say Jordan Poole called Draymond a triple single after scoring on him. I don't believe that one either, but I do like it. If this was Jordan's go-to class, that would surely put him on the corner of F around and find out how these singles to the face feel. But I am with Steve Kerr. The issue for me is not so much that the punch to the face happened, it's that the video was leaked. Of course, no one is taking responsibility for that, but my money is on Jordan Poole, which is another hash mark in the Jordan Poole is soft column. And he should probably never ever, ever, ever compare himself to Kobe again. Yeah, I don't see that happening with Kobe, so call me crazy, but I think deep down inside, the whole squad left that day singing, we had it coming. And maybe that's why I think Draymond's punishment is more than enough. For the knee-buckling punch to the face, Draymond Green will receive a week away from the team, a fine of an undisclosed amount, and no suspension. Shannon Sharp thinks the lenient punishment is a bad look. So I'm just wondering, if I'm Jordan Poole, this is what I'm hearing. Draymond Green got a game for hurting Kevin Durant's feelings. He gets nothing for punching me in my jaw. So in other words, Kevin Durant's feelings are more important than me getting punched in the face. I completely disagree with that, but again, that could be because I think the bigger problem is that the footage was leaked. The fact that Steve Kerr is concerned about the leak as well proves he wanted to handle this in-house, and we were never supposed to know about it. The KD situation was public and played on repeat. It's entirely different. Trust me, I get it. This action was definitely more violent, but still, it was supposed to remain internal. I get some people might not agree with that, but can we all agree that this latest Woj bomb is a complete dud? Golden State did not want to punish punish Draymond Green in a way that he would miss uh, opening night where he'd get his fourth ring with the Warriors and, and see uh, his fourth banner during his tenure with Klay Thompson, Steph Curry uh, brought to the Raptors. So basically, if it would have happened later in the season, the punishment would have been more severe? Yeah, I'm definitely calling BS on this one. Teams have internal issues all the time. I still think the bigger issue is who decided to make it public, and I agree with talk show host Mike North, who tweeted, who pushes who first? No suspension, I'm told by my peeps, because Poole actually shoved Green first. He did. Suspension based on ring night is a joke and wasn't relevant. Oh no, that sounds right to me, but either way, I'm good with this punishment, and maybe Jordan Poole is as well. Steve Kerr says not much phases him, and he is willing to get back on the floor and go to work with Draymond. So, all is well that ends well, right? Or do you think these issues might manifest themselves again later in the season? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Once again, I'm Jackie Ray, and thanks for watching The Fumble.